of it. Holy snap, look at this guy. <laughs> this guy's the size of my finger. What's up, lords and ladies? Welcome back to another video on this channel. So in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys how to take care of hornworms. Now, hornworms are these beautiful, um, you know, caterpillars or pretty sure they're caterpillars, but they're beautiful in the sense that they are nice and blue, nice and green, but our reptiles, my bearded dragons especially, they love to eat it. But sometimes at the pet shops or at the reptile stores, um, when you purchase them, they could sometimes be small. So I'm gonna show you guys how you could get them nice and big and plump and potentially even breed your own hornworms. So with that being said, let's just get started with this video, let's go. Okay, so right in front of me is my colony of hornworms. Now, I purchased these um, not too long ago, and when I got them, they were a little bit smaller. Now, what I've done is that I put them in, I guess, three O's. Um, there's three of them in here, there's three of them in here, and so on and so forth. And my goal behind this is to get them nice and plump and potentially breed them. Um, they do have to go through a phase where they turn into a moth, and then the moth you need to take care of. So I'm going to definitely take you guys along the journey. So be sure to like this video and also subscribe. That way you guys um, could basically be notified when I post those videos. So definitely post... Uh, so definitely hit that notification bell button. But what I want to do is show you guys how big these guys have gotten. Because look at this. Holy snap. Now I'm going to share with you guys exactly how I got them that big. If you guys don't already know. But look at that. <laughs> oh man. Now if you saw at the beginning of the video. I was making a mixture right about there. Using this Ripashi, um you know, super food that they call horn or uh, super horn, uh, which is really cool because Rapashi makes so many different kinds of foods for different kinds of things, even bearded dragons and, you know, leopard gecko. I don't think leopard geckos. Well, yeah, they make it for any kind of almost every single species. They don't make it for snakes, but you never know. But they also do make food for hornworms. So I thought I would give it a try. It did cost me $28 plus tax here in Canada. But I gotta say, I have even used half of this. And look at how big these guys have gotten. From a little tiny baby, just a couple of days, I placed them inside of here. And basically they've gotten big. And this guy is pooping on me. What the hell was that? Ew. <laughs> Speaking about poop, this right here is what their poop looks like. <laughs> but yeah, it basically looks exactly like that. And as you can see, there's a bunch of poop in there. Uh, these guys are just eating machines. They basically just eat, grow, and poop. As you saw it poop on my hand, which is kind of gross. But uh, when it comes to their poop, since it looks like their food, you have to be very careful with that as if they eat their poop, they could actually potentially um, die from it. I guess they either get sick. You know, I've owned, well, I wouldn't say I've owned, but I've tried breeding them in the past and making my own mixture as well as, you know, not cleaning them as often. And yeah, I've noticed a big difference. Um, the setup is pretty straightforward too. I do want to, now that they've gotten bigger, put them each in an individual uh, container. When I got them, like I said, they were a lot smaller so they could fit comfortably in there. But now that they've got it nice and big, I do just want to keep one in a small container with a nice little piece of uh, egg crate. You can technically keep them in a bigger container and just keep them all in one bunch. But I do want to just isolate them. That way I know which one is eating, what I need to do for each one. As you can see this one over here, is turning a different kind of color, which is so cool. Look at this. 
like it's turning like a dark 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 blue and of course once they get into um, you know nice and big like I said they go through a process where they turn into a beautiful moth and eventually that is the goal behind this so I'm definitely gonna keep you guys posted but like I said the setup for them is pretty straightforward when they are small you could keep them in just about anything what I've done is I've kept them inside of these like Cricut deli cups with a lid that has holes and I basically just keep them basically in three O's but now as you can see I am just gonna keep one in there and I might get maybe a smaller container because really all they do is eat uh, you could fill up the nice little section and they would just munch away and eat and what they eat is this repassion mixture I might put a link in the description if I can find one but sometimes it could be hard to purchase them um, online especially through these times but I definitely recommend you at least trying it out you should definitely have this in hand just in case your hornworms are small and you want to get them nice and big in two days they get huge and in a couple more days these guys should all turn into moths and uh, we could I could share you with you guys that process as well and then maybe we could get baby hornworms and we could start our own little colony and that trust me will save a fortune because these guys they cost anywhere from a dollar to two dollars I've even seen them cost three dollars which is just crazy how much you know they could cost but my bearded dragons they love it holy snap look at this guy <laughs> this guy's the size of my finger holy snap look at that so if you want to get them nice and big you definitely need to at least purchase some of that that way you could get them nice and plump but whoa so <laughs> so what I'm gonna be doing now I put inside of the fridge the mixture I'm gonna give them a little bit of food that way I could share with you guys what I do uh, that way I, you know you guys could do it too so let's go get the mixture okay so right here we got the mixture that I made all I really did was basically put one part of it being the mixture and then the other part being a bit of water and I put it inside of the fridge that way it could almost turn into like a jelly type of form um, as you could see I could cut it and now that basically comes the scoop I did take it outside of the refrigerator and let it rest for you know about five or ten minutes so it could be room temperature but if you notice some of these still have some food but what I've experienced is in the past is that usually within a day or two they start to basically just accumulate with poop and if you don't be careful with that they can actually eventually run out of food and start eating their own poop thinking that it is food and like I showed you before and like <laughs> one of the hornworms showed you too that is what the poop looks like it looks very similar to food so these guys are not really the greatest when it comes to I guess their eyesight all they really want to do is just eat so when the food runs out or if they start eating their poop they could actually start um, well, what, I, what I've experienced is that they can actually start, um, you know, not growing and then even die from it. So what I do is I give them a clean container, even though they might still have a little bit of food. And I basically just scoop around. I basically give them a good clean. Right. And if they still have food, I just give them a clean container. So at least, you know, once a day or even every other day when I notice that. There's a lot of poop in there and they just need a fresh start. I just go in there, give them a fresh deli cup and that is about it. So it's pretty straightforward on how to take care of them. And like I said, for me, now that they've gotten bigger within a couple of days, they no longer fit inside of this container, all three of them. So what I would do is I would actually either keep two or I would just keep the one in there. That way it could continue eating without any complications. But you definitely always wanna be providing them food. Um, they can start very quickly. And if you've noticed, I just kinda of just moved their food around, gave them a little bit of a fresh bit of food and they already started eating. <laughs> I just woke them up a little bit. And even though they're nice and big and plumped, they all they do is eat. So they're fairly easy to grow. 
The only thing is you do need to provide them the proper food. That way they can have some access to it and they could continue eating. But all they do is eat and poop and grow. So if you are planning on breeding them, they can be a little bit easier um, when they're in this kind of hornworm phase. But, you know, when they're turned into a moth, they might be a little bit more complicated because this guy's like eating this guy's head. Whoa, dude, eat this. <laughs> but when they turn into uh, a moth, it might be a whole different process. So like I said, subscribe to the channel. That way you guys get um, those videos when I start posting them up. Because right now they're in the hornworm phase. But I'm going to take you guys along the process and show you guys all the phases, especially when it turns uh, when they start having babies. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. But for now, that is it for this video. I'm Lord Lion. Keep the blood pumping, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Here we go. Peace. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification button, baby. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification.